begins right now. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Dia Davidson. I'm Chris Goodman. Election day is fast approaching, and Governor Matt Bevin is turning to some high-profile names in the final push. Vice President Mike Pence will stump for the governor later today. In fact, he just landed here in Kentucky. LAX 18's Mike Valente is in Laurel County with more on the visit. It's the LAX 18 Big Story today at noon. Yeah, Dia and Chris, the vice president just touched down in the last few minutes. I can see the governor out of the corner of my eye, Congressman Hal Rogers. They're here to greet the vice president. There are also some supporters to my right. He's expected to shake some hands, take some pictures, and then he has a very busy day ahead of him. We were actually here um, in the same position around two months ago when the vice president visited London and uh, Manchester. But of course, now the stakes are much higher ahead of a pivotal election. All eyes are on this race, one of three gubernatorial elections next Tuesday. And this could be an indicator of how the electorate is feeling amidst an impeachment inquiry that's only ramping up. Of course, governors have no impact on impeachment proceedings, but Governor Bevin has made this an issue in the race, demanding that his challenger, Andy Bashir tell voters where he stands on impeachment. Invoking national issues like impeachment and, and abortion has been a theme for Bevin, while Bashir has shied away at times from criticizing the president directly and instead shifting the focus to what he calls kitchen table issues, rural health care, public education, and the floundering pension system. Meanwhile, Bevin's campaign is hoping for a boost from high-profile GOP allies. Housing Secretary Ben Carson was with Bevin in Louisville yesterday, and today, as you can see, Pence is about to get off the plane off of Air Force Two. He will stump for the governor in southern Kentucky, as well as the entire statewide GOP ticket. It's about to get really loud, so I'm going to get louder. They're going to meet with first responders and eat at a local restaurant, Chef's Place. And of course, these events will be dwarfed by the size of the crowd expected at President Trump's rally in Lexington Monday. That's the day before the election.